What's up, garden friends? Jeff here, Tropical Plant Party. How's everybody doing? I hope you're good. I am great. Now, it occurred to me I did a succulent haul several weeks ago, and I think I said in that video that I have a cactus haul that I was going to do separately. I, I never did it. So, time for an overdue succulent. Nope. Time for an overdue cactus haul. Here we go. Uh, the majority of these cactus I've picked up from Home Depot or Lowe's, uh, some of them on clearance and their health kind of eh, teetering, uh, but I think most of them will be okay. There's one that has some rot that's a little bit questionable. I'll show that one. Some of them have names, some of them don't. If I don't show the label for a long period of time, then I will type it out, but I'm going to try and just show you the tags, because if it has a tag with the label on it, that's so much easier for me as far as editing goes than typing it out. So, uh, if you want to know what something is, I'll make sure that that label's there and you can pause it. That's what we'll do. So, for starters, let's look at these guys. So, for starters, I have two of these guys, the Mertilo Cactus Geometrizens. I think they're also called, like, the Mexican Apple Cactus or something like that. I could be wrong. Got two of these guys. They're really healthy. They're nice and thick and strong. Ow. Ow! Ow! You're gonna hear me saying ow a lot in this video. Ow! Okay, and here's the other one of what they're calling the blue candle cactus. That's where I rip the flower off the top. It's kinda scabbing up there. So it should be okay. I'm just gonna hang these guys over here while I move forward and avoid that because that's a dangerous level. All right, now this is just a Pileocereus species. It doesn't say what kind. I could take a guess, but I think that that would be uh, a waste of everyone's time because I can't say for sure. I would say possibly the Azurius, even though the spines are a little bit long. A lot of Pileocereus do kind of have that blue color, not just the Azurius, so hard to say for sure. And I do have some Azurius. I'll show those next. So here we are, Pileocereus. Azurius, also calling this one the blue candle cactus, just like the Mermitillo. Well, here's those. This is the one I was talking about I got in clearance that probably has a little bit of rot inside of this one down there, but I can't say for sure. I'm keeping it very dry and keeping an eye on it. Now, to me, uh, this one looks less like an Azurius than compared to the other one. So these could also be mislabeled. I don't know. That's that guy. You know, the Azurius, the Pilocereus Azurius, those have always been some of my favorite cactus. I think the first cactus I ever had was an Azurius. And you can see this looks much more like a Pilocereus Azurius than this one, but uh, I can't say for sure. Hey, Blue Torch Cactus, Pilocereus Glacusens. All right. I'm assuming the Glacusens means hairy white and hairy, more than likely. And uh, yeah, that's what this is. It is white and hairy. It has hairy, hairy whiteness in there, in the aerials. Pretty cool. I like it. Obviously, I bought it. Now, I really, really like this one. This is the Pulaskia Chichipe. That's a cute name for a cute cactus. This guy's in there in a nice little clump, and I think that's gonna look really neat in a planter with some stones around it and kind of the mid-ground with some larger things behind it and some smaller, probably rosette-shaped succulents in front of it. Yeah, I do think that that will really help to naturalize an arrangement. All right, and here's the Nato Cactus Lenning Hustle. It looks like a miniature golden barrel cactus, which I really like. Just like the one I just showed, I do think that this one is going to help naturalize the planter. I do think I need to go ahead and unpot it, though, and put it in something larger, because you can see how this one cactus is up against the side, and I think that that may end up leaving a flat spot on it. And the tops of these are really cool, too. Now, this one, the top is missing its spines because I ripped the flower off. I do plan on removing the flowers from all of these guys because I can't stand those paper flowers. They just drive me crazy. You know, sometimes those pop off real easily and sometimes they don't. Mellow Cactus Azurius. There it is. And again, this one has that neat blue 
hue to it. You see how blue it is? The lighting is really weird, so I apologize that things are going in and out of focus. But uh, it's a ball-shaped cactus with long spines. Simple, small, this is a little guy. Mammillaria elegans. This is a busy cactus. I think the camera is not going to enjoy the shape of this one. So many details with the mammillarias. They, the aerials, which is where the spines come out, come out in little bumps and grooves. So they're raised a little bit differently, but I think that allows them to be closer together. And you can see that they have sort of a diagonal pattern, which I think looks awesome. I mean, look at when I spin it. Look at that. Focus, spin. Is it making you dizzy? It makes me a little bit dizzy. And this is one of my all-time favorite cactus, the Oconocereus rigidissimus rubrospinus. You can see why it has that name, rubrospinus, red-spined. You have to kind of hold it at an angle to be able to see those on camera, but it's a really pretty rainbow-like cactus. Add some color. These guys, uh, they grow up, as you can see from the name. Sirius is in there, meaning that they're going to be taller and more column-shaped. Uh, this one's going to be, I think, a clumped, short-growing columnar cactus, though. Very pretty. All right, now let's move on to the big guys. This is a uh, Trichocereus um, grandiflorus. Trichocereus grandiflorus. Really big. This guy's nice and tall. I'd say this is probably a foot tall or so. Showy, the spines have sort of a golden hue to them, as you can see there. And then right next to this, this is another one of those uh, Mertillo cactus geometricins. But these two over here are cuttings, and they're currently drying out. I'm waiting for them to callus. I'm waiting for them to callus so I can get them potted up. The Mertillo cactus, this or blue apple cactus, as it's being called, these guys need a longer time to dry out. They're just more prone to rot. So I'm, I'm giving this a little bit longer just to be safe. You can see that is a nice big cutting. That's a big guy. It's a little, little arm. And hey guys, how you do? All right, that's enough of that. All right, and then right next to that guy is another Pylocereus, but I can't remember the species. I think uh, I think this is Pylocereus peruvianus, perhaps, or the Peruvian apple cactus. Maybe San Pedro cactus might be this guy. Not entirely certain, but it's also quite large. I would say that that's probably a good 24 inch tall cutting. I'm gonna be getting these potted up next week. Uh, it's been a while. The Pylocereus, the one that I think is a Peruvianus, I believe that one already has some little roots starting to pop out and it's calloused over. So it's ready to get potted up. The Murtillo, I don't wait for them to grow roots, that's not what's going on here, but it just lets me know that this guy's doing okay and it's probably good to go ahead and get that rooted while it has some roots starting already. So I'm going to get going on that next week. Oh, and I almost forgot I picked up this little six pack here of very, very sad looking. I think these are called like fairy castle cactus, something like that. I can't remember, but uh, they're neat. I use them in one of my other planters right here. They grow really well, don't need as much sun. So I got those, need to use those. Oh, and this is not a cactus, but I did pick this one up on clearance. Also, this is a uh, Senecio hybrid, Senecio Rolianius, I think the variety is called Raindrops. So you can see it's similar to the String of Pearls, but the little leaflets have more of a pointed shape to them. I think that's pretty cool looking. It's a little sad, but it was also only like 50 cents, so I'm not complaining about that. These guys grow so well, it'll be fine. All right, so I think that that is everything. I'm going to be using these in different planters and arrangements throughout the fall and winter time. I already showed you guys the topsy-turvy in my blog, but if you didn't see my blog, this is Echeveria topsy-turvy. Echeveria topsy-turvy, see? Right here. If you didn't see that in the vlog, that's what this guy is. Really cool leaves. Aren't those neat? Really awesome. And then this is kind of my cactus and succulent spot for the time being. It just kind of is what it is and has to do for right now. I'm getting things rearranged and whatnot in my growth space. They're doing okay. I've been moving things closer to the window and to the lights because you can see they were starting to take off. But these two were inside and they weren't getting enough light in my garden window. So they're out here now 
hopefully, I mean, once they start to take off, they're not going to squish back down, but maybe they'll just stop. That'd be ideal. If not, then, you know, chop their heads off and repot them, reboot them. It'll be fine. No big deal at all. But that's it for now. Hope everybody's doing well. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. All that fun stuff. I do enjoy talking to everybody. What are you guys doing with your garden? What's going on with your succulents and your cactus? If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.